Hello, be pals! I'm Jordan54, and finally, welcome back to Eversion. Uh, it's been a while since the last episode, um, Beige Alert, when we got the secret ending. Um, but we are back for one last video on this game, where we go through all the, uh, worlds once more, and get the letters, the hidden letters, for the achievement called Metaphor for the Atomic Bomb. Now, there is one more achievement after this, I might as well say this now, there's one more achievement after Metaphor for the Atomic Bomb called What Have You Done? And it's just, the way you do it is messing with the game files, uh, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, just cause I don't think that's the best idea in the world. Uh, I like having games that work. And considering my personal experience of trying to set up a recording where uh, I can get PC audio, <laughs> Um, chances are I'd never be able to play this again if I did anything with the game files. Now, I have switched operating systems for this video. I am recording with a Mac this time, instead of my Windows computer, uh, because this one I can actually record PC audio from. Thank you, Open Broadcaster Software, for having my back. <laughs> yeah, I have Open Broadcaster Software recording my desktop audio right now. Um, through a microphone and I show you in Soundflower. It's complicated. Let's just get into the game. So I'm just gonna cut to the spots with the letters uh, and all of the work that you need to do. I don't really need to show the rest of the game. And I haven't really done much of anything in the games quite yet. Uh, but I mean, that really makes sense because I'm on a different system, I haven't done anything here, and uh, I want to be able to show all the letters. Once you get a letter, uh, you can't really get it again, uh, and it won't show up again, so you'd have to do this. So, for the first letter, E, the first E, uh, is gotten by going to Floor 2 in World 1, and then coming back to this cloud. Boom, it's yours. On to World 2. If I'm not wrong, you can do that, and no, you can't. Never mind, there's only one way. That's to super jump off this guy to go here. And there's your V. Meanwhile. What? What? What is this? What is this? What just happened? I've never seen that before. What? Oh. Uh, uh, what just happened? I'm gonna look that. Um. Cursed game? Oh, apparently I. <laughs> I'm looking it up on the Steam forums right now. Apparently, I encountered a glitch slash exploit that's only available in that one area. I've never seen that happen before. That was terrifying. Okay, I was just, I was trying to get back to uh, the left side to get some gems that I didn't already get. Um, Cause I'm trying to keep up to speed with the gems too, uh, just so I can reach world eight. And I, I was trying to get back to one of the earlier floors so I could go back uh, using a tree, but also have the clouds. I wanted to be in floor two, but the only way I could go back to floor two was by blocking my path with trees. But I couldn't go anywhere with floor three. And then I went to the far left on floor two, averted to floor one for some reason, audio stopped, and I'm like, wait, can I go back? What <laughs> to, to, to dash zero, to dash negative one, all the way to dash negative seven. And then the game crashed. Oh, that was tar- oh, that was horrifying. Oh. Alrighty then. Yeah. L let's try that again. 
There should be an achievement for that. Zaret, you should you should add an achievement for finding that. Finding that glitch. That was terrifying. Oh my god. Ah! Oh. 2-7 is a little too far back for me. All right. So now that we're still in this floor, uh, let's go back and um, let's get those gems while we still can. So, World 3's letter is the second E. Um, and I do believe I actually got it in my main playthrough. Uh, but I'll get it again, just for the sake of showing it off. Especially considering now I can explain what you, the step-by-step -step instructions on how to get it. Um, now, the reason I'm waiting here is because I need an enemy to... Yep, yep. Come on, come on over here. No need to be shy. I need one over there. Uh, let me grab this right now so I can pick that up. Um, oh, no. No, don't fall. Uh-oh. Whoa! That was a funny jump. Meme jump. Oh, come on! Just get yourself into floor four. Um, and kill all of the enemies except for one. Leave this guy alive. You want him in a perfect position. That's why I'm not using him for what I want to use um, right now. Uh, so let him come back. This might take a little bit. Uh, you need him in a perfect spot so that you can guarantee a super jump will work. Otherwise, you'd have to do everything all over again. And even if you didn't kill all of the enemies, there's a chance one will be stationed on top of the brick, which is what happened last time. Which is why you only want one. There we go! That should be close enough. Grab that gem before we come over here and get the E. There we go. Uh, I'll let you know if I encounter any other uh, curses. Bah! All right. So if I am correct, this is our. Uh, this is one of the harder um, letters to get in the game. So let me get to the point. I want to grab a few of these gems first. And I also want to die. That's always a good thing. Uh, yeah. I'll come back for it when I reach floor, floor four. But I'm definitely not going to hit that brick because I'm going to need to come back. Alright, so you see that little, uh... The block under the block that I'm standing on. Uh, in between those two blocks, there is a letter. The letter R. Uh, but in order to reach it, we're going to need access to floor four. That access can be found here. Just uh, nab a few of these gems before we head head onward. Ugh. Gonna need to make a few specific jumps in order to backtrack. Alright, so. Uh, I'm not sure if you can time it like I'm about to, but yeah. Can't quite do that. Uh, so you're gonna need to time it perfectly, and uh, if you don't, there's a chance that you might immediately fall into the bottomless pit if you don't catch yourself, like I would, uh, like I failed to do. Um, and if that's the case, you're gonna have to go all the way back and reach floor four, floor four again. Ah! I'll meet you back there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that's, that's funny. I ended up getting one of the enemies stuck in that bush. <laughs> and now he's stuck there. That is hilarious. I hope I caught that. <laughs> I did. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Let's try this again. Oh, God. Uh, I'm gonna have to be ready to catch myself every single time. Because I don't want to have to do all this all over again. 
Oh, got it! Ah. If you stand at a... If you stand near the edge of the block and then walk, you're uh, much more likely to get it. Now, let's not die on our... Whoa, hold on. I almost forgot we have to get some gems. Uh, but don't die on your way back! That is a bad thing. You don't want to do that. Trust me, you don't want to do that. Huh. Oh, but how am I going to get back from here? No! It's a trap! Uh, can I... Let's make sure I have the... Okay, I... The letter saved. Um, can I still go back and see if there's any other gems that I missed? Ba, 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 ba. There are. Need to get these. Oh, come on. World... Uh, five's... Uh, World Five's letter is probably... To be bluntly honest, is probably the easiest one of them all. Uh, it is very simple to get. Especially if you're gonna do what I'm gonna do, which is... Uh, what I learned in the main playthrough, that you want to do this, and then go back. If you're curious enough to get the gems. However, uh, I'm not going back to floor four, because I think that's a bad idea. Then just go over here, and there's your letter. Alright, so, on to World 6. This is an interesting one, because... Uh, remember all that trouble I had getting those last few gems? Uh, during the playthrough? Turns out, I was doing it completely wrong. Turns out there is a way that's worlds easier than what I was trying to do. See, I did it the real man's way. Just gonna point that out right now. Oh, I died. <laughs> um, irony, right? Now, I did it the real man's way. I did it from floor seven. Uh, turns out that you can actually avert to floor six at a specific part of the maze near the end of the level. Which makes the gems so much easier to collect. There's a hidden aversion point to floor six right there, and it gets rid of the blood! Look at how much easier that was to do. And there's your letter. Right there. Uh, I, I really wish I knew that uh, back when I was doing the playthrough. Uh, this is another very easy letter to get. Um, because it's at a point right near the end, but it's at like the fake out end that uh, can't bring you to the very end of the level, which means it's actually pretty easy to access the letter itself. And you might just encounter it through uh, an accident. Now, floor five all the way down to floor one can access this letter. Because otherwise, I think these thorns would get in the way. Oh, okay, just just die, just do that. Uh, <laughs> um, do I have to get the letter again? I'm not sure if I have to get the letter again. Maybe it's just because of that horrifying glitch that happened that uh, made me unable to keep the letter with me. All right. Um, yeah, the thorns would probably get in the way in floors six, seven, and eight. Um, plus this thing you'd have to worry about. Um, but yeah. Um, there's your letter. Pretty easy. Pretty simple. Ah, ah, I got another one! Ah, that's funny. <laughs> He's gonna be stuck there for a while. Because uh, I'm not going back to, um, any of the other non-cloud floors for a while. That is very funny. Okay, now we got this one. Trees, cause it's warmer. Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. Okay, never mind. I do have to actually get the bad ending before I get the good ending. Never mind. Do I really have? To <laughs> that was weird. Um. All right. We know what happens here. And this time, I am prepared for the music. Still quite scary, though. Still quite scary. Oh, 
that's going to be inconvenient for um, open broadcaster software because uh, now I have to stop the game and open it up again. Damn! All right, returning to floor, uh, to World Seven. Ready to die. And now let's beat this level. God, this looks so cool. It looks so cool. The music is terrifying. Everything is terrifying. Oh my god, it looks so cool though. The enemies are really fast in this on this floor too. Enemies are so fast. Almost as fast as you. Ha! <laughs> I cornered one. Oh man, that's always fun to do. And in we go. Alright, so now the final letter uh, is pretty much at the end of this world. Um, now, I'm just going to comment on the fact that I still am in love with the way this level progresses. Uh, the way this level progresses is that you have to go all the way back to floor 1 from floor 8. Slowly but surely. Uh, which is really cool. I love the way they did this. Um, now let's see if I can do it faster than I did before. I still don't know if you're supposed to do that or not. Damn. Alright, so, originally I thought you had to break blocks like this, so that you'd be able to go back. And do everything. Uh, on in floor five after breaking the blocks. Uh, that is not what you have to do. What you have to do is just not die uh, as you progress through this. Then you can come back to this area once again. Don't die. There's a reason these enemies were in pairs, uh, but then you're on your own for this one. This one. Oh! Now you can come back and avert to floor five. And all the stuff that you broke is still broken. There you go. Oh, okay. I can still jump. <laughs> I was a little worried. Uh, floor four is right here, is it not? There we go. We're already in a, at a commanding lead over our previous attempt at doing this. <laughs> uh. I don't seem to remember this area, but okay. Did I, oh, it's right there, I missed it. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna mash the avert. He's. I was afraid of mashing the avert key because I thought I was gonna go to negative worlds again. Can't say I remember that. 
I don't remember any of this. All right, you know what? I'm gonna be smart and, okay, never mind. I'm just, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be impatient instead of smart. And in this game, trust me, there is a difference. I don't remember this area. But whatever. the other way. Which means I'm gonna have to jump. Oh, okay. Huh. Ah, little worried. Alright, now we come out this way. Oh. Alright. I don't trust taking that. I think there's another floor one aversion point that I should take instead. You know, one that I'm actually familiar with taking. Yeah, this one. We're almost at the letter. We're almost at the end of the level, as you can tell from me being in the floor one. Pretty much gonna have to be not in floor two to predict progress in this area anyway, so. Um, I wonder if I can reach that area with the... I don't know. <laughs> now you can come from here or the other area, and uh, by other area I mean over here. Just jump over here, jump over here, keep jumping, and there's your N. Ba -ba -na 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 -na. I'm not sure if that achievement shows up in the OBS window, but um, I just got achievement unlocked. Metaphor for the atomic bomb. Mission complete. And by complete, I mean we're both about to turn into Ghoulie Boss and enjoy eternal love in floor eight. But I mean. <laughs> Hey, a good ending is a good ending. So, um, with all that said and done, um, that is Eversion. I love this game. Uh, with the introduction to Geometry Dash into my life, it has been bumped down to my second favorite PC game of all time, but it's still very, very good. It's one of my favorite 2D platformers. It's one of my favorite horror games. Support this game. Link's in the description. Go buy it. It's awesome. There's not much more I can say. Uh, there is that one more achievement. Uh, what have you done? Mess with the game files if you want to. Uh, but that's pretty much everything. So with all that said, keep looking forward. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.